Ooh, shalom the Lord bless you. I welcome you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Excuse me, please. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This particular prophetic word says, It's you, the one. You've got to better get used to. You have to accept it right now. And now let me tell you something. When we delay to accept what we are supposed to accept anyways, or what we were supposed to accept anyways, what happens is time. Time, 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 time. We lost time. And that is what happens. We begin to lose time whenever we delay something you are supposed to have accepted or somebody you know that okay this person loves me this person wants to marry me and you having something on that person so you know when you start delaying what happens is time is passing if you are supposed to accept a particular job and then you're turning it around like blah 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 and all that time so and you can take a lot of examples about about this there are so many examples i could talk about this with so so many 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 examples hallelujah praise god thank you jesus hallelujah glory to god please if you're seeing me for your very first time my name is ethel betangba and this is prayer and the prophetic with pastor ethel you are very much welcome in the mighty name of jesus amen hallelujah praise god thank you jesus hallelujah glory to god you've got to accept this and settle it in your mind once and for all i said again you've got to accept this and settle it in your mind once and for all when people begin to need you or when there is a position that needs you if there is something that you should say yes to or you know you're going to say yes to i beg you in the name of the lord don't play hard to get okay but this is not what i <laughs> this is just an example don't play hard to get if you know that for example you love somebody and the person is like asking you out you know we were we were trained or we grew up with that particular mentality of i'll think about it i want to pray over it now let me tell you something people always have the answers to give you except they are confused i say it again people always have the answers to give you except they are confused it is only somebody who is confused who needs to think about something as a matter of fact if you love a lady or you're asking a lady out loud let me give you a little tips and the lady's like i'm going to think about it the lady already know the answer she wants to give you if it's a yes if it's a no now i'm going to think about it means the person is in the middle of something or the person is confused about something so the person is maybe trying to get a clarity but once they already have a clear mind about you there is no going back and forth once they already have a clear mind about you i say it again there is not going back and forth no going back and forth they will say yes to you now somebody like me you know i i don't know if this is old school or this is this is real right if i like you i like you if i love you i love you i don't know how to turn you around and all that that's me i'm one straightforward person and that's just me if i ignore you it means i don't really like you like maybe wanting to have something to do with you and all that because i feel like time is going to pass by oh except there is a reason why i can like you or i might like you but i cannot be with you there should be a reason there should be something there should be some reason why i might like you but i don't feel comfortable most of times you find some people who really love you are willing to do everything for you <coughs> excuse me please you find someone who really loves you willing to do everything for you and i have been sleeping with the ac and i'm feeling cold in my chest jesus what do i really do what do i do dubai is very hot so if you don't sleep with the ac 
the atmosphere is very hot so it's not easy that helped me it helped me a lot so you can have somebody who is asking you out the person really loves you and is so kind to you so good to you you look at like this is the person i want but something keeps resisting you you have this resistance why you cannot accept the person you cannot explain that happens to so many people good people in front of you but you cannot explain why you cannot say yes there is something that is hidden somewhere and always click to your intuition the moment you disobey your intuition you will obviously regret it yeah so i can like you or i can love you but something keeps restricting me or restraining me until it gets cleared out yeah so bird what i'm talking right now i don't know what happened and what made me started talking about all of this but what i'm talking right now has to do with god and you your relationship with god god has chosen you for his purpose he has chosen you for his assignment and it's you god has chosen and he's not giving up yes there are some human beings who when they love you they love you but they will give up on you trust me when they keep asking you out and keep talking and keep talking and keep talking doing all the things they have to do and you're not responding honey they're going to give up on you but you see god he will never give up on you <laughs> jonas was running got swallowed god still made sure that he came back God who never give up on you. Mine, man might do all the strategies and you don't still follow. But God will do all the strategies. And if you don't follow, he keeps doing the strategies. God says you are choosing. You have a call. Answer the call. Accept the call of God upon your life and have your peace. Accept the call of God upon your life and have your peace. Several years back before I became a pastor, I wanted to travel to the U.S., I kept receiving people prophesying to me that God has called you to be a prophetess. Oh my goodness. Prophetess how? I'm still very young. And I want to travel. I want to go to the U.S. I've been a pastor for for about 10 years. Wow. About 10 years now. And I was like, I have my ambitions. I want to go to the U.S. I want to do this. To cut the long story short, I was denied a visa. And that was the first day I ever saw a clear vision. I could say that was the time my prophetic started like being activated until i accepted the call of god upon my life i never had peace until you accept it you might not have peace i pray for you may god straighten and energize you in jesus name bring you to that position where you will compromise for your own good in jesus name amen now may the lord bless you keep you cast his face to shine and heal may he be gracious to you and may he give you peace the shalom of the lord nothing missing nothing broken in the name of jesus i love you so much i do i love you please do not forget to pray for me and also do not forget to share the video i love you so much god bless you amazingly and abundantly shalom